Have you ever wanted to work in a news station? Well, Nork for Broadcast allows you to do just that. However, this is not just any news station. You've started your job amid a controversial political party coming into power and large changes are happening around you. and welcome to this game review. Have you played this game before? I'd love to know your thoughts. If you liked the review, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below. If there's a game that you would like for me to review, please let me know down there also. I'll enjoy the video. I was given this key through Keymailer, an online resource for content creators, game publishers, developers and PR agencies to connect, send and receive games for review, and then highlight content generated from those keys. I've had not to broadcast on my Steam wishlist for a while now. I do enjoy those simulation games, and this looks similar to the ones that I play, but with a large political swing in it. I expected it to be similar to other political simulators like Papers, Please, where the political party puppets you and you have to do certain things to stop them from being upset with you. Not For Broadcast did this and so much more. In the game you take the role of a person who happens across the role of National Nightly News Live Broadcast Editor. Your first day consists of teaching you how to change scenes, play ads and censor bad language. As the game continues on, however, everything you do and show on screen has consequences with each choice you make changing the story slightly. Most of the game is either spent editing or reading story text when you get home. This can get rather repetitive, however everything happens so fast that I don't think I found this to be too much of an issue. Also, the stories that were developing were rather interesting, so it took my mind off of everything else, so much so that I forgot to play an ad once. I think this has to be my most favourite part of the game, the stories that they have started to develop. I am dying to know what happens between the judge and his wife, or the policeman and his extracurricular activities. The game is still in early access and as it states at the beginning of the game, the developers had been working hard while in lockdown to produce the game. The stories are still only skin deep and I would love to see what they come up with as they update the game as it moves from early access. I felt that the newsroom staff could be developed more in future updates to give us more of an attachment to them when something happens. Once you have finished a section within the game, there is the ability to access it in the challenge rooms. These consist of free play, realism, music and challenges. The free play allows you to play the game without the worry of the audience. Realism allows you to play the game as if it was an actual news editing room. Music allows you to access the songs that have been completed within the game and challenges create different styles of the game to make it a little bit more challenging. Overall, I found this game to be a delightful change to what I was expecting, and they have created extremely entertaining anecdotal full motion videos that drag the player in with great twists and turns. I feel that after a while the button pushing might become a little bit repetitive and hope that as it moves out of early access there are new ways or more exciting stories to explore. The developers have done a fantastic job with creating what could have been a simple boring button pushing political based simulator into a fast paced challenging and entertaining game. 
I also felt it was a really nice touch for the developers to add a little message to those who complete the game regarding the process of the game. I cannot wait to see what their next update has in store. You take control of the national nightly news as a radical government comes to power, choosing what can be shown and what is not for broadcast. The game is played in the editing booth with full motion video scenes as well as text form when you are not in the office. These two styles seem to seamlessly work together without it feeling awkward or strange. The game has a section where you can edit different music styles, all with their facetious way of looking at things. As you access them in the main game, you'll be able to play them as a challenge in the challenge room area. The tutorial at the start of the game gives a clear demonstration of how to play using the keyboard and the mouse. I was really thankful for this as controlling the news is hard work. The controls are simple to use, although under pressure I found myself hitting the wrong button a lot. I found this game to be highly entertaining. The surprise behind the scenes part was a wonderful addition and I really wasn't expecting it to be as blazing as it was. The game holds nothing back and the different stories from behind the scenes was hilariously unexpected. There are many achievements on the Steam page to get, and every choice that you make changes the outcome of the story, so there are multiple ways to view the story, allowing for it to be played again and again. I give this game 4 out of 5 howlers.